decided to go on a little Sunday morning cruise with a very helpful assistant through some of the Tipo Terrace areas that people have said have presented major problems to the residents when it comes to student partying and alleged bad behavior. Things were rather quiet on this Sunday morning, but that, according to the residents, is the exception and not the norm. Tim and Dorothy Elzinga have lived on Nancy Drive for the past four years with a baby making three in 2015. Life in suburbia has not been exactly what he bargained for, especially during the school year. Not at all. Well, I'd imagine there's students. It's near the college. There'd be some partying here and there, but it's gotten to the point where uh, we're, we're almost fearful or we're worried at times that uh, we're not sure if we're going to have to call the cops repeatedly at night. Uh, some weekends are good, some weekends are bad, but this weekend really came to a head right after uh, the uh, student council re released a letter asking them to be nice this weekend. But that's just one weekend. Tell me some of the things that have happened in and around or on your front door. On my front door, just this weekend, somebody came knocking because we called the cops and uh, came back a second time after the cops left while we were eating supper and verbally berated me at my own door. And thankfully, North Bay Police have been really good about it. But at other times, uh, St. Patrick's Day, days where it can be really bad, uh, we have parties up three, four in the morning. We call the police and they're too busy going to the other end of Tebow to, to respond and have a good time. And they shouldn't have to respond, uh, have to respond in this area or devote so much police to this area. It's chance of even more repercussions from students that live in his area, but he says he has to do what he has to do. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with them. I you know, think that the, we have a strong community here. We've made a Facebook group. We're all talking. We're all communicating. And uh, I'll just put a, a GoPro at the front of my house and make sure I've got the proof if something bad happens. Zacher has been on the news before talking about students harassing him at his home. He hopes all community partners buy into a town and gown policy, meaning the city, the college, and the university work together to solve these types of situations. In fact, there's an Ontario Association of Town and Gown Committees. Uh, communities like Windsor, London, Waterloo, uh, Kingston, all embrace the idea. There's no less than three police forces in, in Ontario uh, that, are, uh, that are affiliated with the Ontario uh, Association as well. So it's not a loosely formed organization. It's there to educate, but it's also there to share information with other municipalities and what they can do. Because, you know, you take a look at London, it has UWO and, uh, and, and, and Fanshawe College. You take a look at Waterloo, it's got two universities and, and Conestoga College. And, you know, they, they, uh, they have a, uh, I have the terms of references for London and Waterloo, so we don't have to recreate the wheel, but it needs the endorsement of the city of North Bay. The city of North Bay has to be the engine behind this idea.